You just spread through the cards. The spectator can say stop wherever they like. This is complete freedom of choice. Let's say they say here, but they change their mind. Uh, you know, they do that sometimes. This is complete freedom of choice. Now what we do is turn the cards over under their selection, as well as the cards above their selection, essentially trapping their card in between a bunch of face-up cards. And no matter where they say stop, it will always be your force card each and every time. What is up, folks? Jorge Anito here. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back. Welcome back to Two Minute Tutorials, a segment where we keep it short, sweet, brief, to the point. Have a great force today. Yeah, Harry Lorraine move. Lee Asher also has work on it as well as, as, well as Hairpin Ong. But before we get into it, it would mean the world to me if you go ahead and hit the like. Drop a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We're almost at 600 subs subscribers. Wow. Um, just a couple more. So when we hit 600 subs, yeah, we're going to do something really special. I won't say anymore. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this super sweet card force. I think you'll find it very enjoyable, fun to do, and it just nails every single time. It looks really fair. It's not hard to do. This force has its origins with Harry Lorraine. Um, he called it the flip force. You'll start with the card on the bottom. And essentially what you're doing is wherever they say stop, it doesn't matter. You can even break off the cards where they say stop. Because whenever you come back over, what you're going to essentially do is peel this bottom card over in the action of turning over the cards below it and then you say we'll also turn the cards face up over it as well so I'm gonna do this from a different angle so yeah start with your force card on bottom you just spread through and just invite them to say stop wherever they like um, let's say they say stop right here Now, obviously they're not seeing what you're seeing uh, but you you just ask them are you sure and so they, they say, yeah, and what you do, you come over to kind of align the bottom packet with their selection, and you grab a hold of it with your middle and ring finger, and you're essentially going to peel that bottom card away in the action of flipping this card over. Or, the, yeah, in the action of flipping the cards under their selection. And then you, likewise turn the top cards over and then I always say essentially pinning your selection in between a bunch of face-up cards it's it's super cool this could be used as a card switch as well let's look at it from one more angle as well as consider something else this could also be used as a really cool card switch as well um, you obviously know what the bottom card is could be anything but you could uh, you know have them say stop and what you could do is actually switch their card out. You could show them their card without giving it to them. Come over. Do do the uh, the switch the card. You know that move. Turning the cards over and essentially their card, which they just saw, is on the bottom, but they think that it's right here. So at this point, you're free to you know gamblers cop it, uh, card to pocket, whatever card transpo. Um, so that's a really cool, really neat force, and it's super easy to do. It's not difficult at all. Uh, give it a try. Flip Force by Harry Lorraine. Uh, may the force be with you, Lee Asher. And Hairpin Ong has a really sweet card, card to pocket transpo uh, streamlined in his book, Prinkepia. Guys, this has been Jorge Anito here with Two Minutes Tutorials. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Yeah, 600 subs here very soon, and with that, very special giveaway.